But I don't know, the mixer one kind of trips me up a little bit. Or... No, there is a little bit, because it definitely cuts off something at the beginning. Although it's probably not cutting this off. Hi, I'm Eric Allen, I'm here with Joe Drilling. Hi, I'm Joe Drilling, and I'm here with a Sega Genesis, but not really. It's a cute little Sega Genesis. It is. Uh, if I was more on top of stuff, I could it's like a make Sega my video Genesis. camera to show it. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. the autofocus is on, and everything's black. Is this cord That's long enough? That's because it's spooky Halloween time. No, oh, it must be parked on. Everybody knows what a Sega Genesis looks like anyways. There are so many different variations on the Sega Genesis. That is really difficult to see, though. <laughs> it's very hard to Hang on a second. see the red light. I see the Genesis logo. Hang on. But that's really about it. I there you go. See the... There, there you go. go. Now you can kind of see. Yeah. There it is. It's a little yeah. Genesis, although it looks like a really big Genesis because of the camera perspective. But anyway, I bought one of those Genesis minis. Uh, I have two regular Genesis's, and neither of them look like that one, actually. So. No. Uh, that's definitely... the That thing is what I sort of see in my brain. Uh, me too. When Even someone though says Sega Genesis. Genesis's look like that, that's still what I think of in my brain. My original Genesis looked like that, the one I had back in the day. Also got... I'm also parked on the controller wire, but two of those... I have real Sega Genesis controllers now for Genesis yeah. or Genesis. Isn't it? Did I introduce myself? I don't even remember. I don't know. You did. Yes, you okay. Did. Anyway, so this is On the Stick After Dark presents Genesis or Genesis isn't 31 Nights of Horror Ween, according to the, the stream title. Um, so we're going to start off, I think, with some scary Genesis games, or at least the the scariest of the Genesis games on the Genesis Mini. And well, these are vaguely horror themed really Yeah, involved. kind of. You play as a werewolf in Altered Beast in the first and last levels of It's true. Yeah. I mean there's like is there anything scarier than Sonic the Hedgehog fans? No. Right. No. So is anyways anything, is there anything scarier than Sonic the Hedgehog fan fiction writers is really the question we should be asking. Anyway. So yeah, I don't know. You want to start with the scary thing? Or you want to just start at the beginning here? And... Yeah, you should just, well, Alex Kidd is scary in a different way, but let's oh. be thematically consistent. Let's right. start with let's start Ghouls with and Ghosts, ghosts which you've right. already played on this. Show. We have we have done that before for Genesis, and I believe it Genesis is, was Genesis, Genesis was. I don't know. It's a pretty good people, game. Some people, some people complain about this port. Um, I think those people are full of shit. <laughs> People are like, oh, the hitboxes are weird. And it's like, no, the hitboxes are only weird on, like, certain attacks. Like, there are fireballs that some enemies throw. The hitboxes are weird on those. But Arthur's Arthur himself does not have a weird hitbox. Um, this is also, even if you argument... You're, the thing that's weird is some people are like, the hitboxes are weird. But other people are like, it's too easy. It's like, you can't gripe about the hitboxes being weird and gripe that it's too easy. I would say games. that this is probably my favorite home port of all the various ghouls and or goblins and or ghosts <laughs> games. Uh, yeah. I think I... this is the one that is like it's the easiest. Is it might be the easiest one, or at least it's the easiest one to make some like decent progress in without getting totally fucked all the time. So I actually think Super Ghouls and Ghosts is easier. For a handful of reasons, but um, this is definitely the easiest version of this game. The, the Super Graphics port and the PS1 port. Uh, the Super Graphics port has limited continues, so if you're not practiced up, like the Super Graphics port is not going to do you any favors. Um, Fuck limited continues, am I right? Yeah, you you are right. Um, I think if a player wants to limit their own continues, hell yeah, you know, for, for reasons, you know, that's totally fine. But I, I think that the game limiting continues is sort of garbage. Um, I'm actually bummed I can't hear the music right now because the soundtrack of this game is really good. Yeah, I had to, I had to pick either the audience could hear it or I could hear it, and I'm kind of sad that I don't get to hear it. But it's yeah, fine. it is too bad. I'm gonna actually turn it off for just a second. It's probably pretty quiet. I can turn it up a little bit. It's actually everything is quiet. 
Because I have actually just turned it all the way up and I can barely hear it, so everything is everything is quiet. I actually didn't have it muted. It did not have the stream muted. <laughs> didn't notice until I turned it all the way up, so I would say maybe turn everything up. I'm not sure that that's a thing that I can do. OBS should let you just uh, post things, unless we're all already turned all the way up. Uh, yeah, I'm already at max. Uh. Actually, I had to use a filter. I had to use a game increasing filter in OBS to... It hasn't been an issue before, but I don't know. It seems like every time I stream, um, something is different, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, see, I don't have my armor, so now all of a, all of a sudden everything is very difficult. Uh, yes, when you're naked, things are difficult in this game, for sure. But, um, as, you, uh, as we were saying, this is really the easiest version of, of what I think is sort of the middle of the original trilogy. Like, I, this game is, I think, easier than Ghosts and Goblins, which is just ridiculous. Um, but easier than... Super Golden Ghosts, um, which is a game that I still quite enjoy, but I like this one a little bit more, even though it is a little bit harder. This one you can shoot up and down. I, I really like that. You, yeah, We've had this discussion before, it. but th that yeah. is a really good thing that you can do. Yeah, and in fact there are some bosses in this game that, well, one in particular that really, um, you can you can kill it without shooting up and down. But really, it's it pretty clearly seems meant to be uh, attacked from the top. You're supposed to jump and shoot down. That's what so, I don't know if you'll make it that far. But... Probably not, because I'm going to try and cycle through as many of these as I can. <laughs> so did you get one of these just, you know, because we've been doing this for, yeah, for kind like of. two years or three years? I've never now. really owned an actual piece of Genesis hardware. Have you ever owned a Sega system, period? Uh, Dreamcast. Dreamcast. I had a Dreamcast at the time that that was a relevant thing to own, but that was it. No Saturns. Oh, I have a Master System that I, I got at a garage sale. Um, and I have a handful of Master System games that came with it, but... Um, I didn't... I got that, like, ten years ago or whatever. My The neighbors had a a master system. So I played like Double Dragon back then, for instance. Oh, Double Dragon on Master Systems. It's easy. very good. It's way better than the NES player, one. Yeah. Still way better than the NES one, which is kind of garbage. Oh. Uh, I think that NES Double Dragon is kind of a bit. The first three, two and a half to three stages of the NES Double Dragon are fine. Look, man, it's better than no Stage Double Dragon, is... right. but it's not a good Double Dragon. Uh, it's Single Dragon. Right. Uh, That's what I'm saying. And the, you have to grind for hearts sort of early on if you want to have any of your gifted moves, uh, which is stupid, I think. It's not a good double dragon, man. I think. I think it's like, better than no core, double dragon, but. Right. Like, I think the core gameplay loop is fine. Like, it controls well until you get to dumbass bullshit platforming that shouldn't be in there. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, that's all double dragons it. well right but some just don't have that right like the yeah. arcade double dragon doesn't that doesn't really exist in arcade double dragon right but double dragon and double dragon 2 on the nes for some reason technos was like you know what's really good with awful jumping controls platforming that sounds good we'll do that um, makes sense to me yeah, shouldn't have done that yeah. Um, so there are six button controllers that are that work with this and with PC. Walmart was giving them away for free with the purchase really? of one, yeah, or for like maybe ten extra dollars or something. Um, honestly, I think of all of the many systems that come out, this one is by like it's by far the best value. It has the most games on it, 
it has arguably like the most complete collection of games like a like the best representation of that system's games and it comes with yeah. two controllers um Super and the came with two controllers right i think so but that one they like like the controllers the the <laughs> The uh, I was pretty impressed by the uh, the cord length of the controllers for this too. Way better than the Super Nintendo or the the, the NES Super, one is horrible. The Super Nintendo controllers you can't use for anything else. Right. right. They have that Wii. Right. This has these are just USB controllers. Wii. I could probably I'm pretty sure I can plug yeah. these into my PC and just use them. You definitely can plug them into your PC. Yeah. But the can you use the the NES and Super NES ones? You can use on a um, on a Wii or Wii U, right? Probably. I don't know. I don't know that much about them. I have a, I have one of the NES ones, but I didn't buy a Super NES one. Um, yeah. Anyway. Well, the Super NES one, where they raised the price and lowered the number of games on the Super NES one. Yeah, well, you know. But it came with two controllers. Yeah, let's go back to the main menu here. I don't. I, so I'm playing this through an Elgato in OBS in the OBS video screen. So I'm not sure what the lag situation is like. It's probably not good. It's not. It, it isn't. OBS screen. It isn't horrible, but uh, it's gonna make some of these difficult games more it's difficult, like which isn't make, great. It's gonna make Ghouls and Ghosts harder than. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's do the other Genesis actual genesis horror themed game castlevania bloodlines this was sort of the game that led to genesis or genesis and if i remember correctly. kind of you, you played it during uh, halloween several years ago and you were like i should play more genesis games yeah um i like this game a lot you seem to die like the first i think number of points for one stage i one think the first two levels stage. i think the first two levels of this game are really good and then the rest of the game is mediocre to terrible depending on which part of it you're talking about i also think the boss fights in this game are not very good i also think the fact that this game has limited continues makes it one of the worst castlevania games puts it in the same category as the first castlevania First Castlevania doesn't have one of the games. Doesn't it? No. No, you can get to Dracula. The first, it's weird because the first Castlevania is really generous at the end. Like you can, you get, you start on the stairs right by Dracula, and you can continue. Yes. Continue to. Okay. It's like the anti Ninja Guy. Like. All right. Uh, I mean, Ninja Guy, you can also. Games of Lemon continues, man. It's a bad scene. I should be playing as the guy with the spear also, because he's more fun to play. His name is Eric. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's neither here nor there. You can say that, but... It doesn't, it doesn't affect me. One thing I really like about this game is that they made the single candles uh, are yeah. new weapons. You know just by looking. Yep. Which... It's, that is a... It is a passable middle solution between the ideal solution, which is what it does in Rondo of Blood, where it just fucking... What? You just drop the thing and can pick the thing back up if you want, which is just a better way to go about it, I think. Um, but at least this does give you some kind of heads up other than just rote memorization of... Um, also, like, the weapon selection in this game, there is no dagger equivalent in this game. Like, most of the weapons that's good, in this... though, No, that's what I mean, sucks. is most of the... Most of the weapons in this game are useful. There aren't... There isn't... You never give up a fucking holy water for a dagger like you could in Castlevania 1, and then go from an easy victory against death to having to restart the whole fucking level, because it's almost impossible to beat death without holy water or whatever. So, uh, fellow YouTuber, live streamer, uh... Austin uh, Macker, who does a, has a channel called Gameplay and Talk, uh, just posted a video of boss strategies for the original Castlevania, and in that video he shows how to beat every boss in the original Castlevania with just the whip. Uh huh. And I was just like, "That's dude, cool." I, I don't know <laughs> if you're some kind of weird superhuman. You gotta play a ton of time, but like right. beating death with just the whip, like no, no thank you. Nope, good. it's not a good time. Or Dracula being Dracula was just the whip, like. Nah. Although I did learn something I never knew before. Yeah, Dracula is not that bad in the first Castlevania, I don't think. Second form Dracula is, but 
I he's a lot easier if you use uh, something to stun lock him, obviously. Well, right, but that's what I'm saying with only. Uh, he's. I would. I would say that that's. I would. I think I could beat him with my whip only, but I don't think I could beat death with the whip only. So here's the thing that I learned about the second form of Dracula: the the, the suffering of man given flesh uh -huh. or whatever the hell he's supposed to be. If you crouch right in front of him. He'll do a high jump like 85 percent of the time to walk up there, which I never knew before. Which I think maybe now that I know that, maybe I could beat him with just the whip because I would know how to trigger a high jump to not get caught in the corner and get. Because if he touches you, you take a ton of damage. Yep. You can only take like yeah. You can only take like three hits that way. Yeah. It's so. almost as dangerous as a random bat. <laughs> yes. Hey, it's Mike. Excited to Hi. show. Up. Mike, you also got one of these toys. I did, yeah. Um, it's really neat, except for the part where it plays Genesis games. That's, oh, come on. That's... There's quite a few good games on this thing. There are a few, yeah. games, there are a few good games on this thing. Uh, Eric was saying he feels this one is the best value of all the mini consoles so far. Do you agree or disagree? Mm, I have a real hard time saying that this is a better value than the tiny Super Nintendo. It's got a lot Super more games. Has 20 games. Yeah, but they're all real good. They're all real good, Mike. Star Fox One is still something where you're like, "Yep, I want to spend my time with this." <laughs> I mean, fifteen of the twenty are really good. I don't want. So I, I don't actually want to come list down too hard on this side, thing. honestly, to say what what I. Um, I'm actually gonna pull up the list. I don't. I don't actually want to come down on this thing too hard because I think it's really nicely put together. But it's true that I sit down with it and I'm like, yeah, there's not many of these games on the Genesis that I really want to sit and spend much time with. Fair. Uh, I mean, there's it's some really neat things on this too, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run this down because I'm not curious about. Uh... Certainly, Bloodlines is maybe not the best Castlevania game, but it's a very solid game, and I'm glad to have access to that for the first time ever played a couple of games of that. that's good you know what if you played the first two stages play the best two stages in the game yeah it could be could eric be. is wrong about that no i'm not i'm definitely not wrong although there's one there's some cool you should play through it because there's cool stuff in all the levels um but a lot of the bosses and stuff suck are just like there's shitty a, and ugly and there's a really uh, good stage later on that does some weird visual trickery stuff where you have to look talk about the Oh yeah, Insane. that's it's just like a weird fun. gimmick. That's yeah, like. But it's not very long. It doesn't, no, it's, it's a gimmick not. That doesn't overstay its no, the, like that's that is one of the neat things. Like, or the fact that in the second level there's that cool reflection of everything, as the water rises and falls. Like, there's there's it's a lot of cool the, uh, stuff in this game. It, it there's a couple that I've seen in this system that are just like, oh yeah, these are some Genesis ass Genesis games. Like they use all the, yeah. the visual effects. Bloodlines is one of those Nintendo. for sure. <laughs> Or, you know, juggling like 60 sprites to make something look kind of pseudo 3D without actually being 3D in any way. Uh, I will say the video is a little hitchy for me on the stream. Is it? I haven't noticed any hitches tonight. I, I just clicked away from it for a minute, but I have not noticed that prior to just me. That's anyway. But I'll keep it happen. I don't know. Looking at the Super NES, like, there's only 21 games, and I will agree with you, Mike, that I think about. about 15 of them are like very good. I don't even remember what is on that thing. Uh, well, Contra yeah. 3, The Alien Wars, which is very good. Donkey Kong Country, which is not. Yeah. Earthbound, which is the thing that people like, but I don't. Uh, F Zero, which is fine. Historically F Zero is good. Yeah. It's a cool tech it's demo. I don't know fine. that F Zero One is a thing that I need to play a lot now. Like F Zero yeah. X exists. Um, I don't really want to play that either, but. Which one is the GameCube one? Is that X? Or is that whichever? The GameCube one exists, and that's like a pretty good racing game. Uh, Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. Yeah. Which is, that's pretty good. That's a very good game. Really good. Uh, Kirby Superstar, which. I think I'd I'm not a big good. rather have Kirby's personally. Dreamland 3, but. I, Kirby you know, Superstar is good. Uh, Kirby's Dream Course, which is like. All time Kirby. classic. One of the best Super yeah. Nintendo games. Uh, Link to the Past, which is an all-time classic. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know... Mario World, Super Metroid... Yeah. Three of X. the greatest video games of all time. Sure, sure. Mega Man X is on that thing? It is. The there first one, which is the that's best the one, one you want. Super Nintendo, the only sure. one you really need. Um, I was still stumped for Mega Man X 4. Oh, sure, 4, but that's not a Super Nintendo but, game. Oh, yeah, right, of Super Nintendo games, yeah. X1 is the... 
Uh, Secret of Mana, which, you know, that's a pretty good video game. It uh, was, but... It's not a great video game, but it's doesn't, really cool. It doesn't hold up too well. Star Fox 1, which is not... An important game. video game, but another yes. one that doesn't I'm, hold I'm up too well. I'm not even sure I'd call Star Fox 1 important. I think it's important. I think, I think it's important. But Star Fox 2 is very cool that that's on there. That's the only reason that I would get one of those, is to have, like, an official, legit copy of Star I Fox I mean, 2. to be fair, a lot of the games on the Genesis collection are really cool without necessarily being great, but they're like, wow, the Wily Wars are on here, and, like, this version of Tetris that no one ever played, and stuff like that. So I, I, I don't want to give the Super Nintendo a, the, I don't want to give the Super Nintendo a pass for having cool games, because the Genesis has lots of cool games right. I mean, the Genesis the, collection. The Super Nintendo also, so the U.S. version of the Super Nintendo got the correct version of Street Fighter 2. Mm -hmm. The Japanese version got the SNES port of Super Street Fighter 2, which is... Yeah, like, no one really wants that. I don't really like that. <laughs> Super Castlevania 4 is very good. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, I just said I, I like that, but I like Ghouls and Ghosts on the Genesis better. Uh, Mario Kart, eh, original Mario Kart is fine. It's a, it's a decent game. I'd still, it's still about as much fun to play as it has been for a while. As it has been since... All right, here we go. We're going to we're gonna just go right through these Genesis oh, no, games no, now no, real no. quick. We so here? we're going to play a little Alex Kidd. Oh, I thought we were trying to make the case <laughs> for this thing. Right. Well, just to round out the Do you want to play a rock, ass, paper, yeah. scissors for your life? Rock, rock paper, and scissors. Dropkick cars and... I mean, I do want to dropkick cars. God, this drop game fucking... This part. game fucking sucks. Oh, it's so bad. It's not good. Um... But uh, Mario Kart, Mario RPG, Mario World, Mario RPG, I don't I forgot Mario RPG was on that system. I'm not a huge fan, but some people love that game. Uh, Super Metroid, Super Mario Punch RPG Island, is great. Super Punch Island. Up's a really good game. Yeah. Yoshi's Island is fine. That's great. Yeah, so that's what's on the Super NES. Um, so I would okay, say so maybe like 10 Stone Cold Classics. 10 Stone Cold Classics. Now, Eric's playing the Genesis, but I would say, like, if I was going to pull. <laughs> this has Alex Kidd, another Stone Cold Classic. But like, okay, Whew. Contra Hardcore, I would say, is on like equal, especially since you get all regions. Contra Hardcore so is like, better than Contra Three, in my opinion. I'm, yeah, I haven't really played much of it, but I may agree with you because it it's looks so cool. It's crazier. It's, it's got so all the characters. Variety. It's got all the crazy weapons and stuff. Hey, I'm done playing Alex yeah. Kid. That game right. stinks. That game. So bites. the thing that's nice about the Genesis that, that that none of the Nintendo versions of this have done so far is that you get all regions of these games, so you can play the proper correct Japanese version of Contra Hardcore with the life bar. Yeah, you don't really need that for many Super Nintendo games, though, do you? Um, no, but it's interesting. Like, it would oh, be interesting to, to be able to play, um, I don't know, uh, the... maybe you don't really need it at all now that I'm looking at this list of games. I'm not sure that any of these have, like, significant differences in their Japanese incarnations. Ooh, well, what about Altered Beast? <laughs> Look, if you owned a Genesis in 1989 or whatever, well, you got Altered Beast. For me, right, you got Altered so. Beast, and Alex Kidd was available, and those were the video games you could play. So, but like the thing with the Genesis is, I still, I still feel like there's a community of really, really dedicated Sega fans on the internet. But I feel like most lay, not lay people, but the casual vintage gamer person it seems to be much more Nintendo focused than Sega in my experience. Maybe that's just people that I like associate well, with. Cause those were more popular. I mean, in America it was pretty split actually. They were, they didn't know. I mean, NES, to a dead heat. NES dog. Well, NES. Yeah. yeah NES. Like if you go, if you go master system and super Nintendo <laughs> versus Genesis and uh, master system, then it's not. A competition. Well, sure, but I'm so, I, if, well, I'm looking at the Super Nintendo Mini and the Genesis Mini right now, and like the Genesis in North America sold almost as many units as the Super Nintendo. Right, but that's I'm just telling you that the reason why there's more nostalgia for Nintendo stuff is because over the course of the last 30 years, Nintendo has been relevant for much a greater swath of that sure, period of time. Sure, sure. Right. But I'm just saying, there's there's games on this Genesis Mini that you also so Nintendo like games continue to be party. relevant in 2019, whereas Sega right. games don't really. There was like a cool Sonic game that Sonic came out Mania last year. Yeah, but, Sega owns a lot of studios. That but are making good the games. Zelda game that came out a couple years ago is like, you know, <laughs> bar for open, open world, world adventure games, right? So it's yeah. like not a competition. Um, 
but you know there's stuff i think that a lot of people didn't like miss and i think like like you're playing through some of these games now like dynamite heady we haven't done on this show before that game is a lot of fun um is decap attack on this thing it is not god i fucking hate altered beast this game stinks why are you playing this i don't know because it's there i have to i have to play it i'll try and beat this boss yeah. Time for all, all right, fair yeah. enough. Contra Hardcore hadn't been re-released at all until this year. Castlevania Bloodlines hadn't been re-released at all until this year. Uh, yeah, that's really cool and also weird, but it's cool to have them. Yeah. Uh, Ghouls and and also, Ghosts, they're both pretty Ghost, good. Gunstar Heroes has been released a million times, but it's yeah. really good. I mean, I mean, Gunstar Heroes is probably the best game on this. I mean, I think uh, Gunstar Guns... Heroes is the best game on the Genesis period, so, yeah. like, that's my damage, but, like... Gunstar Heroes uh, is, like, like Zelda and... Super Metroid and Mario World, one of the best video games of all time. So it's one yeah. of those like perfect expressions of a 16-bit gameplay yeah. style. Yeah. Um, Sonic and Sonic 2 are both real good. Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition is all very good. Uh, Streets of Rage 2, I, mean, is I guess. Fantastic. It's a great game in a certainly on this format, not a way you want to play it. No, well, yeah, you have to buy a six button. It's just like being. It's just like nineteen ninety. You don't have to hit again. a button to, to switch a... between yeah. punches and so I will, kicks. I will like, say, as a Genesis tourist, this thing is Strider. Um, Get ready. Thunder Force Three is super good. Strider this... is really neat, but do you think that Strider holds up as like a classic yes. kind of game that doesn't I have? Do. Like... It's a game that made a lot of people really angry because it was like eighty dollars when it came out, and it's like an hour long. Yeah, it's like four stages, but you know. I don't get why they put the Genesis port of Virtua Fighter 2 on this thing. That's a, That's a, That's a weird curio. Recognition. How well, cool is the, it that you get to see that? Didn't they put NES Pac-Man on the NES name? Yes, they should. So sure that's did. why. Right. It's a name that people remember. Yes. Hey, Monster look. Four. It's the worst Pac-Man. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, Atari, oh, 26 Atari 2600. Yeah, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Take it back. Anyway, as someone who never owned a Genesis, it is kind of yeah, fun right? to be a, like a Genesis tourist and have this thing and have... <laughs> Like, basically an instant library with not every single great game on the system, but, you know, most of the ones that you really want. Um, I will say, I was surprised by how big and kind of crappy those controllers are. They're Genesis controllers, uh, dog. Six-button I... Genesis controllers are much nicer, I think. than I kind of like the chunky three-button. It depends on what game you're playing. I like the D-pad on Genesis controllers. Also, Smoke Monster says, hey, I can type here now. So I don't know what was preventing him from doing that, but how's it going, Smoke Monster? <laughs> Welcome. Um... I I like the classic. I mean, I haven't played with the ones that came with the mini, so I don't know if they're not up to snuff. But like a legitimate they're they're Genesis they're pretty much just Genesis controllers, as far as I yeah, can tell. I, I think they have a nice like mat. I think the finish on them is pretty nice, but I don't I don't like Genesis controllers. I think I like them better than NES controllers. Um, as far as classic controllers, they are they're unnecessarily big. They're a little awkward to hold. Like the buttons are kind of too far inside. Everything feels kind of mushy. Compact. Yeah, the buttons I mean, are big and the, mushy. The, I think the, the D pad's Saturn okay, but six buttons is really good. Is the Genesis six button controller the same as the Saturn controller? It's similar, but not congruent. It's very similar. Okay. You know what's I really good? Use... Xbox One controllers and PlayStation Four controllers. And I don't sure. like any of these. Like if I given the option, I will play any old video game with new controllers as opposed to old controllers. But oh, I'll take a Super Nintendo controller for a Super Nintendo game any nope. day of the week. No, thank you. That thing yeah, also it I'm fucking like, sucks to hold. It's just not comfortable. I, I disagree with uh, that. That's, that's a your that... hand problem, I think. Maybe. I like I mean, the Xbox I, I have big hands controller. Well, would you say that a, you you think a Super Nintendo controller is ergonomically as comfortable as holding an Xbox One controller? No, but I think that it's got really good buttons and knee pad. Yeah, but, I mean, even if it's like marginally enough. better than an Xbox One controller, it's uncomfortable to hold for, like, long or short periods of time. I have zero problems. I, they're, yeah, very, I don't, I don't. they're very few controllers that I find uncomfortable to hold. I, they're I all uncomfortable one. for me, except for Xbox One controller, basically. The only one bad enough okay. for me to find really uncomfortable is the Dreamcast. I need something to put in the palm of, like, there's nothing to put in the palm of my hand, so it's just like you hold it against your finger and... Just like when I was a kid. Yeah. I got years of practice. Honestly, I didn't have the, my hands were a lot smaller when I was a kid. Yeah, mine too. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't have a problem with it. The Joy-Cons are actually what I find to be the most uncomfortable. <laughs> like... The, oh, Joy Cons suck. Pro suck. controller is fine, but the Joy Cons, I, 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 oh, yeah. like, uh, they start to hurt my hands. Two, two Joy Cons separated is okay, but Joy Cons on the Switch, they suck. Yeah. 
I like uh, the dog Bowser controller. says he'd like a three button size, six button controller with the six button D pad, which I, I get that. That's it's a bigger controller. It'd be nice to have the three button layout. Um, and he also says the X Bone controller is really nice. I have limited experience with the X Bone controller. I play, I it's used Kurtz nice. when we played some been Cuphead together. Yeah. Yeah. It's got yeah, a pretty good D pad. It's well. got a pretty good everything else. Buttons are pretty good. Triggers are really nice. Triggers. Trades. Yeah. It's like the and I I like the offset sticks. I mean, like, anything would be an improvement over the uh, uh, the D-pad on the 360 controller. Yeah, it's but trash. it's a big improvement over that. It's it's not a little improvement. It's a it's, it's not a it, it right. It's a good D-pad instead of a terrible or passable one or whatever. Not as good as a Super Nintendo D-pad, but you know. It's good. I didn't say it was the all-time best. I said it was good, and it is, it good. is good. I like it. I have two of them. I got I got them for my computers, and I think they're real good. Plus, they Smart connect over Bluetooth, are... and apparently Smart... now they connect to your iPad. Nice. <laughs> Smart Mark says it's infinitely better than the PS4 D-pad, which he despises. I actually don't mind the PS4 D-pad. Me neither. So. It's all right. I, I did everything in Spelunky with one of those. It's all right. I don't have any problem with segmented D-pads either. I, like on the PS2 and 3 controllers and on the, the Joy-Cons. Except unless I'm playing a fighting game, I don't have any issues with segmented D-pads. Why am I still playing Gold Max? Gold Max is all right. What do you guys think about Gold Max? Gold Max is all right. Is it an altered beast? But I, I don't. <laughs> That's not, I mean, look, man. There's like bodily harm. Like a sharp stick in the eye might be better than yeah, right. altered beast. I, I, don't, I don't think that original gold, like Genesis Golden Axe. I, it, it's kind of a boring beat 'em up. There's not a lot of variety in what you can do. Your attacks, riding the monsters is cool. Using the magic is cool, but it's I. I, I mean, I'd rather good. play Legend. Um, I, I mean. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather play like uh, um, Streets of Rage. <laughs> well, Streets of Rage, but I was gonna say um, Revenge of Death Adder, the arcade sequel to Golden Axe. That game is really good. I like that game a lot. But well, you don't have that. You got a Genesis yeah. Mini. You got to live with it. <laughs> yeah. You got to play every game on it, just like Eric's doing here. I don't. Have what do you guys? What do you guys think about Columns? Mm, real bad. It's not. Oh, so I don't think it's real bad, but it's not Tetris. Um, or Puyo I mean, it's Puyo. like Puyo Puyo, but harder. It's like Puyo Puyo, but shittier. Yeah. But it's fine. I mean, it's... I don't doesn't, know. I, my biggest problem with it, honestly, is just that it doesn't have a lot... There's, like, no style to it or anything. Right. Like, at least Puyo Puyo and its various mean bean machine or Kirby in... Uh, yeah. Kirby uh, Avalanche. Yeah, those various incarnations. Like, those all have a lot of style to them. And this game is just really generic. It really looks just like kind of like a budget title. Well, also, it's like, if, like it doesn't, it doesn't do the stuff that like you kind of want it to do or wish it did in terms of like what Puyo Puyo does or what yeah. um, uh, uh, Puzzle Fighter, where like you can stack, you could stack a whole bunch of gems into one big gem, a one big blob, big Puyo blob, and then you can do stuff. And like you can't do that in columns like it's very basic yeah you know? smoke monster uh, says i feel like columns is just luck i like the music a lot though yeah, yeah. that's fair thunder force three this is a this is a All right. pretty fucking good one say, of these i think thunder force three is better than thunder force four some people a lot of people will say thunder force four is the best one in the genesis i like thunder force three more um but g lobster just, is going down think, buddy we did this for Genesis or Genesis, isn't it, right, Joe? We did, yeah, we did. You got very frustrated very fast. I'm bad at these kind of games, like really bad. Whoa. I didn't see that happen when I played this. What's that? Well, the whole ground shifting and... Oh, yeah. That... Well, you can choose your starting stage, Mike, yeah. so you can play the different stage. I think you might have picked a harder stage than I did. Yeah, this is G Lobster. He's my nemesis. I, I, like... I will say, as neat as it is that they put that like weird amateur port of Darius on the system, I think it's a pretty bad game. I don't love Darius 1, honestly. I think the Darius games don't really get good until you get pretty deep into the series. Like, G Darius, Darius. and Darius Gaiden are the good Darius games, and the first couple are just like, eh. Especially Darius 1 was, I mean, being honest about it, my view is that Darius 1 was kind of a gimmick, because in the arcade... Ask, how do you guys feel about Darius Rucker? Um, I like his stuff with Hootie <laughs> and the Blowfish okay. more than his solo career. Uh-huh. You know, you're uh, not digging the country music. I think they did get back to it. I think they did a reunion tour this year. This year, year, yeah. I think this year, yeah. 
there was like the 25th anniversary of Cracked Rear View Mirror or something. Something I like that, say. yeah. G Lobster's got your number, Eric. Take yeah. G Lobster's taking it to you, man. Um, I never even get to see like G Lobster. Ugh. I, I played some, so I did the Patreon stream the other night and uh, for for September, and I play. I started by playing Parodius, Goku Joe Parodius. Um, that's a good look, shooter. That's a good shooter, and it wasn't quite. You know, it was not quite October, but I wanted to get kind of in the in the spirit, but not the sort of shoot my wad before it was October. So I, I played through Goku Joe Parodius' Kid Dragon, and I was talking about how. There are so many shooters that are so punitive, and like this one, like Eric has two special weapons he's not using for some reason, but you can switch weapons on the fly, and if you die, whichever weapon is not equipped, you don't lose right. in this game, which is like way less punitive than Konami shooters, where when you die, like, that's it. All you got nothing. Gone, you got nothing. Yeah. Goku Joe gets around this a bit by being way easier than most shooters. Yeah, I mean, Goku Joe Proteus, all the Proteus games are easier than the... And that's great because that's the only kind of Gradius games. game that I want to play is an easy Gradius game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like the mainline Gradius series for the most part. I think probably the best Konami shooter, the best shooter they ever made, is probably Gradius Gaiden. Um, that's the one you can't get anywhere, right? That is uh, no, it's on the Gradius collection for PSP. <sighs> great, <laughs> super. That's real helpful. Um, so yeah, if you have a PSP line around. Isn't, or actually, isn't I that bought the a, Japan I bought only Gradius collection? No. 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 Gradius collection. Oh, I'm thinking of the right. Salamander collection. Salamander, right, Salamander and Proteus and Twinbee did not come out in the US. Of two, I have three of the four of those. The only one I still need is the Twinbee one. They're all pretty expensive. Um, all right, Eric, get us back to the menu here. I want to see this game list. I'm going back. I'm going. I just did. Real talk, I'm happy to have this system, but there's maybe five games on here that I will ever actually you sit can... down and try to play from beginning to end. There's two, the two Konami games, Gunstar Heroes, Streets of Rage 2, maybe Shinobi 3. Shinobi 3 is pretty good. The two Mickey Mouse games are pretty good, too. Actually. I find them really stiff. I find a lot of Genesis platformers have this real stiff feeling. Mm -hmm. Sonic 2 is real good, Mike. Sonic 2 is no, Land, I, I Land like Soccer is pretty dope. I mean, I like them enough. I like Dynamite them Dynamite is real good. Beyond Oasis yeah, will... is real good. Eric and I Eric played uh, Beyond Oasis a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I would have loved Beyond Oasis when I was 10, but I don't think I have the patience for I it think from what I've played now. Land, Landstalker, I think, maybe is a little bit more... I th uh, so does this have... Monster World 4 is real good, too, actually. Yeah. Monster World 4 is one of the better Monster World games. I maybe someday I'll play... Dragon's Final... Trap, but it's pretty good. Maybe someday I'll play Fantasy Star 4. I've heard that game's good. I actually I played some of that capture footage when I did the video version of the Genesis draft, and I really I was enjoying it. It's a real it's, it's a real problem to me that they have Shining Force instead of Shining Force Two on this. Yeah, because really like cool. that's where this collection really gets left in the dust is that the Super Nintendo one has so many really good RPGs, and this is missing probably. It's missing Shining Force Two, and it's missing. Um, yeah, this is Star Two. Well, yeah, I mean, it could just have all the fantasy star because those are all just owned by Sega. But what's the um, uh, the Zelda like game? Um, Center of Safety. Yeah, that should be on here too, probably. Yeah. Well, if you just want, so it is, if you just want really Alex, good so that Genesis Sega, games, that one should be on here. Yeah. So that is kind of weird that that wasn't on here, but I don't actually. It might not have been published by Atlas in Japan. But I'm trying to remember who was actually responsible for that game. But I can't remember. Are there two Mickey Mouse games in this? There yes. are, yeah. There's Castle of Illusion and World of Illusion. I must have tried the other one because I don't think I've played. The other one has you can play as Donald. In the other one as well. I get. Yeah. It's a little. They're a little slow, but I think they're it's, okay. Um, it's charming, but it's just slow, and I, I don't like the way they they handle. I if you were gonna, I would probably have substituted the Genesis Aladdin for one of them. If you're gonna yeah. put yeah, some some of the Disney like stuff on here, yeah, I know. Well, but Digi that Digital Eclipse is putting those out. Putting. Um... Out one. Both of the Aladdins? Of oh, just one. Aladdin. Well, they're putting out the Genesis Aladdin, and then like a there's a prototype version I think that's included or something. It's a, like an Aladdin and Lion King collection, and I want to say it's like Super Nintendo and Genesis Lion King, Genesis and like Game Gear Aladdin or something. Um, <laughs> okay. Why well, they can't Super get the Nintendo, Capcom? Super Nintendo Aladdin was Capcom, right? Right. So, they don't. Just the Virgin published. I see. 
I feel like I, we we when we did this game, I think that my biggest complaint was how far Mickey goes to the right of the side side of the screen before the screen starts the to scroll, which is a real yeah. problem. Yeah. I love you get to hit the jump button twice to do your butt attack. So you do like a jumping attack. Yeah. That's if you're gonna if you have to push the button twice, then you got to do like a ground pound. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Um, I also would have considered. I mean, I don't know. I like Quackshot a lot. You played it recently. Yeah, I, that's I would all right. Substituted Quackshot for one of these, but I, I would know. take Aladdin first and then Quackshot second. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yes, I would. Sorry, I, I would take Aladdin first, but in terms of like a game that Sega actually owns, I might take Quackshot over. Whatever. Oh, this game's so good. I wish you could hear the music. What's that, Strider? Yeah. Or hear the Grandmaster when you press start. <laughs> we haven't done this one yet, so. Although I have played like many of the Strider games before, so. This game, I don't know. I this is one of those games where I think it, it is almost impossible for me to successfully separate my nostalgia for my early experiences with this game from whether the game is actually good or not. Um, Are you one of the few people that bought it and didn't feel rip ripped off? No, I actually played it on a rent. So I ah, rented a Genesis. Yeah. <laughs> I rented bucks. the system and I rented this game, uh, or a friend rented the game or whatever. And I, the first time I played it, like I, I, this is the first Genesis game I remember playing and seeing like firsthand, and not in a commercial or pictures in a magazine. So I went from the NES to this, and I was like. Holy shit! Like I cannot believe. <laughs> it's super impressive, but like it's like kind of slow. The sprites take up a huge amount of the screen. Like compare the movement in this game to what you get in Mega Man X, and that game was much more fluid. And I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I, okay. Well, if you're asking, like, do I think Mega Man X is a better game than Strider on the Genesis? I, my answer is probably yes. Um, That's more that I have a hard time finding many Genesis action games that have a sense of movement I like. The Konami ones, I think, are I actually, pretty solid. I like the way, the way Strider Hiryu moves, though. Like, I don't have a problem with his movement. He, I like that he, he can walk down a 60 down degree incline. Yeah, right? <laughs> he has momentum when he goes down hills. His jumps feel good. The gravity stuff in Stage 3 feels really cool. Um, the boss, the big set piece boss encounters in this game are all, like, super cool and fun. Uh, the music is really good. I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, uh, the character design is cool, and just like the hitting the attack, like he attacks like instantly. Like there's no lag when you, and the the sound, the ching 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 ching. Like I just, I don't know, man. I really like Strider. It's really cool. It's very cool. Yeah, it has a thing like a lot of Genesis games where it just doesn't a lot of frames animation on stuff. Um, I feel like Hiryu, Hiryu himself has a lot, not everything else. Like a lot of the enemies only have like two. He's got a lot of different frames, but it does, but they're not very smooth. Right, they don't. He can, the connective he a lot of tissue things, isn't there. So all the different things are animated, but none of them seems to have like when he does his flip. It feels like a, there's like many frames yeah, there's like there's like eight frames of animation in that. Like flip. compare that to Samus and Super Metroid. Right. Well, but Super Metroid came out four years after this. Right. Like, Did it? Some, well, maybe I not quite three? that many, but a lot. This is an early, early, this is a pretty early Genesis game. This is a very, this is 89, I want to say. Yeah, yeah okay. That thing is a boss, it kills you. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I'm really not paying attention. <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't want to come off as too negative because I'm very glad to have this thing. Uh, I just think that I will, I'll never be convinced that the library is as strong on the Genesis as it was on the Genesis. What not, I like about it is, so, you it know, some, um, I don't. I feel like there's a point at which a system has like X amount of very good games, where it's like I don't know that quibbling about like, well, there's a hundred really good games in the Genesis, but there's 150 really good games in the Super Nintendo. Like, okay, there, that's a shitload of good games. <laughs> good luck, way. Eric. You just have to pick. <laughs> this is kind of how it would go in real life if someone had a machine gun and you had a sword. <laughs> yeah. You I got this guy. Don't to go worry. Down the other side to get him. So yeah, I know. I see your point, Joe, and that's why I'm glad to have this this mini console. But I, you know, it's just one of those the, the battle has like, been fought since I mean, time immemorial as to was Genesis or Super Nintendo the better console. Yeah, I mean, that's a. I I, I feel like now that I'm a 36 year old man, like that's a kind of a silly 
not even really academic argument to have because they're it's both super nintendo they're they're both very very good and have a larger like in raw numbers wise have way more good games than almost any other you know console released certainly prior to their existence um well i guess you know and, that many to go to choose from before them but i mean I they have more good games them. than the coleco vision right and the intellivision and the 2600 which had a huge library um yeah i mean the standard the those are barely video games sure hey, but i mean i think there's back. more there's <laughs> probably <laughs> like a good game I mean, but even some systems that came after them, the, the, the Jaguar, the 3DO, the, like, even the Dreamcast, like, which is a good system and a system that I like, I, I would say the Genesis has more good games than the Dreamcast. Uh, I mean, or the N64. <laughs> there's only, there's like, there aren't very many Dreamcast games, so. Well, right, but that's sort of my point. <clears throat> um, well, because it was only around for like three years. Right, right, but that's not... Honestly, I, mean, I think the Genesis falls kind of what, middle of the... the N64's excuse, you know? It was a poorly designed piece of hardware. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. Well, actually, like, it was I think there's more good Genesis games than there are GameCube games. Sure, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of good GameCube games. Certainly than GameCube. There's a ton of, there's a ton of, yeah, I mean, there's, Eternal like, in, in that era, it's like the GameCube games were also the PlayStation 2 games were also the Xbox games, because yeah, everything there was, was out on everything. Yeah, they had the great everything. convergence, kind of, right. at that point. Although I would say that the... Same thing goes for Xbox 360 has, uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, PlayStation 3. It's like, and PC now, it's just like everything is on everything. Well, the PC is not a console, it's a PC, so. It's a thing that I play video games on. I mean, mm -hmm. sure, but I don't think you can. You can't say like <clears throat> for the last. Windows I would say a platform. I would say for the last five years, like those three things are kind of all the same as far as playing video games on them goes. Um, yeah. It's not like it was like again. It's not like it was twenty years ago where no, no, PC no, games no. are a totally different animal than the console system, games. Right, because the hardware was so different and all. Right. Right of all of these things are so different that now i mean they're basically all they're all pcs right i mean your right. ps4 and your xbox are it's pc it's a pc with a it's all running on similar architecture and everything right. yeah. if i could get the two playstation 4 exclusives i wanted to play on my pc then i wouldn't need a playstation 4 because every other game is already there which two are the which two are they Bloodborne, and actually, I'm not sure if there is a second one. Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uncharted I, Four was good. I like Uncharted. I, I think I'm. I think I've had enough. Prince of Persia. Um, God of War. You yeah, seem to like that a lot. Kind of. I, I bet you, if like... I were to pick up God of War, I would enjoy it, but I'm not motivated to do that. A little toe jam and Earl. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about uh, this I because I'm wondering if. Again. I'm wondering if I'll pick up a PS5 since I skipped a generation, and assuming that they do do the backwards compatibility stuff, it'll come with the whole library. I hope, of they, I hope, I hope if they do, they do backwards. You, you just sing all the presents, man. What are you doing? Oh, because um, uh, I'm only going to play it for like two minutes and then switch to something else. It should at least be two minutes of you jetting Look, around. The only, the only important thing in Toe Jam and Earl is the music and these background transition things with the crazy polygons and the... Super 90s. Yeah. Uh, looks like a trapper keeper that i yeah have. hell yeah um also yeah, also really toe jam's walk is. animation cycle is also the other toe jam's walk, yeah, walk cycle is great yeah. i i wish i hope the ps5 has all the way backwards compatibility because it's bogus that the ps4 did not have backwards compatibility. Well, the PS4 yeah i need a worse, i need a good way to play no one can stop mr domino mm -hmm. yes exactly um Anyway, but I just, I'm, I'm actually wondering though, will I actually do that or not? Because when I look at the <laughs> PS4 catalog, what I really want is a way to play the PS1, 2, and 3 games that I own. Yeah. yeah. But I'm sure that makes me an outlier. Probably. I mean, I 1 mean, and I'm 2, gonna... you can play a lot of those games on your PC. Right. I got, I... Yeah. Not all. And some oh, of them, oh, it's oh, pretty oh, bad, but oh, most oh, of them you can, yeah. Um, I, I got a 
PS4 because at the time I couldn't afford to build a new computer, right? I mean, that was a big part of it for me, was it had more exclusives yeah. and it was cheaper than building a new PC so I could play all the new games that were also on PC. Mm -hmm. Well, I was yeah, telling Eric at this point, my on. graphics card is not up to snuff for doing anything resembling 4K gaming, whereas a PS5 might be, so it would probably be less expensive for me to buy a PS5 than to buy a good enough graphics card to do 4K gaming for my PC. That's so that might Cerny also... say something about how he was sort of implied that it was going to be expensive, PS5 was going to be... Do you think more so than the last couple of generations? Uh, I think more so than the most recent generation. Like five? With the PS3. Hard to imagine PS4. it being more than $500. Yeah, let's say 500 would be more expensive than the PS4 was, right? It was 400. Yeah, was 400 at launch, yeah. So if it comes out of 500, it'll be 600 in Canada. But like, I, I couldn't get an RTX... 2070 for that much money, I don't think. Uh, I think that's a isn't that about what they're priced at? Well, yeah, I made the mistake of getting a laptop, you'll remember, before this computer, which made upgrading the graphics card a very, very expensive. What laptop. thoughts and feelings on Monster Wonder Boy and Monster World here? This is this is an okay Monster Boy world. Cheapest RTX 2070 is 630 Canadian. Okay. Like, I would say that Monster World 4, Monster World Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, and Monster World 4, where you play as a girl in hammer pants with a little blobby buddy, those are the two, like, those are the best of the Monster World games. But also at this point, Monster World, if you're going to play Wonder Boy 3, why not play the, <laughs> right. the remake that came out? Because this is on the Genesis Mini, and that is, right, it, that, I guess. I don't know. This, like, this is one of those games that's a little tough to, like, Secret of Mana. It's like, like the pacing is just a little bit too slow. Kind of wish there was a way to run yeah. all the time. I love um, Secret of Mana, but I would have a hard time recommending it to someone who didn't live through that era. Yeah. Um, I didn't put a lot of time into it until I was older, and I still thought it was fine. I think it would be fun with. I think it would still be fun if you had three. If you got up to the, point be fun if you could hack out the the uh, delay in the, the intro. No, not oh, the, the intro. We the weapon, the, yeah, the thing. Yeah. The, like that game. That game is like fifty percent more fun if you can just hack and slash your way through it, as opposed to having to wait for the weapon to charge up it must constantly. Be super easy though. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I mean, maybe you just have to like jack up the enemy damage or attack rate or something a little bit, but. I do want to try Alicia Dragoon. I saw you on playing that on Genesis. This is good. Yeah, I like this game. I had a lot of fun with this uh, when we did the Genesis or Genesis on it. Yeah, you get you get three monster buddies, I think. Yep. You can cycle through, and you can level them up separately. Um, uh, it's four four monster buddies. I, I think it's good. three, right? Griffin, dragon, and fireball guy. Fireball thing. And your character is sized appropriately to the screen. Oh no, maybe there's a fourth one. Oh, there's a fourth one. It's like a little, fourth, uh, little, little lizard, lizard guy. Yeah, a little flying lizard, griffin, dragon, and the fun little fireball guy. Yeah. Yeah, and you have the the sort of omnidirectional lightning attack, which is. Yeah, it has. To, you have to wait for it to charge, but. Right, it kind of has that secret of mana thing that you can fire a lot more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this this game is this game is pretty cool. Like. Um, this is like I'm one of sure those. Uh, this is one of those Genesis games that you never really hear about, but is yeah, like super really pretty fucking this, good. Actually, this was on this thing. Like I was like, wow, I, I really like that game, but I am legitimately surprised that it's on there. Now, unfortunately, the U.S. version of this system did not get uh, Alien Soldier, which is sort of the spiritual inspiration of Cuphead, except without the '30s cartoon weirdness. Um, and also a little less player friendly. Um, <laughs> you, can get, uh, you can get Musha, which is yeah. I heard uh, Musha is like the best shooter on the Genesis. I I would say it's my favorite shooter on the Genesis, which is fairly high praise, I think. Um, that's another thing when you're talking about you know Super Nintendo versus Genesis is like if you're into shoot 'em ups, like there is no question which yeah. is the better system. Yeah. If you're into shoot 'em ups, um, I mean all the shoot 'em ups that I like are on the Super Nintendo, but. I don't know. I think the Genesis. I, I, I 
Joe's right though. Like Dennis is way faster, which I could. There's see a lot. Then there's just a lot more and well, a lot more a variety more. also. Yeah. Um, what was there's that? What's the one with the dudes thing. that I played early in Genesis or Genesis that I really liked? Um, which on the arcade has the the twirly paddle thing. Uh, which one? Well, oh, what's the, you play as a guy, but it's a shooter, floating dude. Mm, elemental mask. Mm. Oh my god, I forgot about this dude. What kid chameleon? I just love how like the toughest cool guy that, that you could imagine in the '90s was this dude wearing <laughs> mom jeans. <laughs> yeah. And a leather jacket and sunglasses and a white mm -hmm. T-shirt. Kid chameleon, man, it's not. I don't think we've done this for Genesis or Genesis, but I tried this at some point. Yeah, um, you're already ready to pass judgment. It's not. Yeah, it isn't. Genesis it's, isn't very it's good. It's not that good, yeah. Uh, you played Thunder Force 3 in Episode 3. Uh, you played, oh, Forgotten Worlds. Forgotten yeah. Worlds is yeah. the one. that I would like to have seen that on here. That game is really good, too. I like the that other one a lot. Two that, was, that is also, Force. that is the rare shooter that is, like, easy enough for me to get a handle on early on. Uh, yeah, I like Forgotten Worlds. Forgotten Worlds is cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they they chose the other two. Well, actually, I do because Ghosts and Goblins and Strider are much more recognizable names than Forgotten Worlds. But yeah. it's weird that you know they got two of the three early Capcom Sega arcade ports, you know, and not the third one. You didn't play this for Genesis? I remember seeing. Yeah, this I think you did. I think you did. did I? Actually play Maybe this. I did. Uh, I'm looking at the list now. Oh, well, you know, it's not bad. It's just, isn't it? Remember I think when you is there Squirrel King? Is there like a million levels in this game? Yeah, there's a there's a million levels in this game. It's good value. Yeah, I don't know. I think the so kid animates so nicely. Good some value. Beast Wrestler, remember that? That was good. Yeah, I mean, it's too that bad that's not good. on here. Uh, right? Yeah, it's episode forty-six. Wow. Kid Chameleon. In between, right in between Rollo to the Rescue and Shadow Dancer. <laughs> what Which a lineup. What do you think it made the best impression on you? Super Fantasy Zone. Is this any good? I don't know. I don't think I've ever played this one. Uh, depends on how you, how you feel about Fantasy Zone. Fantasy Zone is a key. It's if, if, if Defender was a cute up. I mean, I like Herodias and I like Twin B, so. You'd probably like it. Fantasy Zone, right? It's not a very hard uh, series. Eric, but what you have to do is you have to go all the way down to the bottom of the screen so that Opa Opa will walk on the ground because Opa Opa grows little feet with sneakers and walks around. Okay, alright, yeah. I'm, I'm down with that. Yep. It's gonna hang out here. Yep. For some reason this reminds me of Ordine, which is mostly weird because I know what Ordine is. Uh, I was going to say, I, I can kind of I don't know see, can really is. play like Ordine. The TurboGrafx-16 shooter, but yeah, that's more of a classic left to right. Right. This is, this is like the Fender that you can go. Just, you know, scroll around? Is that what's happening here? Yes, or? Okay. If you look at the flowers on the bottom... Uh, okay, it tells you where you are. So what am I trying to do? Enemy. What's my goal? The enemy, the flowers are enemy generators. It's like gauntlet. You're trying to destroy all the enemy generators. Oh, okay. All right. I see. Okay, I get it. I don't know that for now. Play some hardcore. Okay. Is that next on the list? I, I don't. I don't know. Are you? Have you literally been going through them? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah. You can thought of order for a second. Mostly, up. Mostly. I mean, I can just I'll just play Contra Hardcore. That's a great so, game. So, Mike, how much of this have you? How much time have you spent with your Genesis? Honestly, experience? not that much so far. Actually, like maybe maybe two hours total at this point. Um, I have definitely have not tried all the games yet. Um, but part of that is that I just recently got into Bloodstained, and so I've been playing a bunch of that. I got that right before I got this, so I kind of I was already underway in Bloodstained when I got this. Um, it's also I, I think I mentioned at the beginning, but I'm playing this through the OBS before you got here, Mike. But I'm playing this through like the OBS thing and the capture thing, so it's like laggy and. Mm, that's gonna make this great. game real fun for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm not gonna do very good in this. Game. <laughs> this game is hard in the best conditions, and these switched, are you not. You should have switched the, the region conditions. before you started, actually. Oh yeah, I should have. Yeah, that would. Well, be you won't. It won't take too. you long to lose all your lives. You can do it after. So. 
So uh, you at least my, took the easiest like, character to use. Though. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like three of four, three of his four weapons are homing weapons. So. Right. Also, he's tiny and has a smaller hitbox. And he can double jump. Almost, almost all of my knowledge of this game comes from the giant bomb. Uh, this is the run that they did for it, which is like 20 episodes long because it's such a hard game. It took them forever to finish it. Um, which and, ending did they get? Oh, I, I forget. Them. I always forget that I need to change the control, like the basic control in this game. Because I always want, I want A to shoot and B to jump, and then C to be the one that swaps your weapon stance. Yeah, um, what's the default? Uh, default the is C is C is jump, and B C is jump, B is shoot, A switches. Weapons. Yeah, something like that. I just don't like that very much. Uh, fun. Anyway, I think I was giving them a hard time for not being good at this game for a while, and then I tried it, and I didn't even make it to the mini boss in the first stage on my first yeah, set of lives. I don't it's think really hard. Uh, how do I? Do you know how I Settings do that? Settings in the upper left, I think. I think yeah. you just cha you change them all at once. You have the oh, I see. Language. Oh yeah, you just change the language to Japanese. Oh really? Yep, and now you're, everything's in Japanese, cool. so good luck setting it back to English. Great. Well, fortunately, I can kind of read Japanese still. So oh, nice. Oh, it changed all the box art, too. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's a nice touch. Okay. There's a lot of love in this system, for sure. I like the... I Look love that the... Look how much better that Strider box art is, man. <laughs> Look how much better this Alex uh, Kidd wait. box art is. Okay. It also changes the sorting, because the games came out in a different order in Japan. Yep. Nice. I mean, so similarly, I've been hearing lots of really good things about the upcoming Turbo Graphics. Uh, mini, whatever you want to call it. Man. Uh, Met CC Engine. Japanese um, box art for Landstalker and Sonic and so, so much better than the... So that's another one that has probably very few games that I'd want to invest any serious time into, but I might still get just because it's kind of a neat curiosity. It's going to be full of stuff I haven't played much. Mm. I guess yeah. that's it. Hmm. Didn't yeah. even recognize it at first. What's that? Oh, this? I'm pretty sure this Hardcore. is Contra, right? That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's very anime in the Japanese box art is very anime. Uh, also, the the Japanese version of Dynamite Heady is quite a bit easier as well, just in case either of you get into that. Uh, I should give it a try. I do like some treasure games a lot. A little hit and miss, like I didn't love Alien Soldier when I tried it, but I, I do love Gunstar Heroes and Ikaruga. Mm -hmm. Shot, select, jump, shot, Stroll. jump, select. That's the one I want. Nice of them to put all the menus in English. Yeah. Yeah, I was just playing Deep Fear last week. Um, <laughs> is that a Saturn, Saturn game. It's a Saturn game. Isn't that the no. one you made me play that's like Resident Evil on a submarine? Yes. I made you play that? Why did I make you play that? If we played um, it at an extra life. A long time. It was like at 2 o'clock in the morning at extra life. That's right, that's right. I think it was more like 6 o'clock in the morning. I think it was late. Yeah, but... um. I was playing some of that, and I'm really grateful that most of the menus and all of the dialogue is in English. You don't have to pay 350 fucking dollars for the European version. Uh, you can get the Japanese version for like 20 bucks. Still to this day, so, you know, if you're Saturn 10. Well, Remember the down and A slides, and you are invincible for a moment when you're sliding. Like, you cannot be killed when you're sliding. God roll. Um, and also, you only lose your weapons when you die. So if you take a hit, if you... One of the hot strats in this game when you're playing this version is to switch to either your... If you if you still have your default machine gun, switch to that. On your last to a hit. Or weapon you care less about, yeah, on your last hit. Yeah. If you take that hit, you'll, you'll lose the thing that you don't care about. So, so, so it's so much easier in Japanese. Is it still a pretty hard game, or is it kind of um, doable? So... Having I mean, triple the lives and not losing your weapons I'm, all the time. Yeah, I don't think I'm the person to ask that question to. I don't actually... This game, for me, it's similar to Ninja Gaiden 3 on the NES. Like, I think it actually goes from being one of the hardest Contra games to one of the easiest Contra games. By just when you add the life region. bar. Yeah. Um, oh, but, this, but keeping your weapons is huge. Yeah, right. Being able to take three hits before dropping your gun and being able to prepare to drop the gun that you don't want the most and keep your, like, A-plus gun yeah. is... It's a big deal. Also, it's just big, being able to get take more than one hit is a pretty big fucking deal in Contra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did the screen just lock up for? Oh, it That's still working for me. I'm watching. Got any, song, got any songs I've... stuck in your head right now, Eric? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's super weird. 
you guys yeah, can still I, hear I, me, right? We're still talking, right? I can hear everything. I can see everything. There we yeah. go. I just re I refreshed and it oh, froze yeah, right spread. before the robot. That's spread gun. You know that spread gun. I do, so yeah, I just I do love like the just absolute geniusiness of you know games like this and the Castlevania and Gunstar Heroes where they just work that processor. Yeah, doing all, like, the, all the stuff that you couldn't do on a Super Nintendo. I mean, say Gunster Heroes, I don't think would work on a Super Nintendo. Man, what an opening yeah, level to this game, right? I love that mm -hmm. burning skyline in the background. Yeah, like, well, like, like yeah, there's like that weird mini boss that knocks the building over, and then you fight that giant guy, and then you fight this dude. Yeah. And then inside of this dude, there's a dude, and then there's it turns out that he's the bad guy for the. Yeah, it's like just a fucking crazy amount of. There's so much. There's like nine video games inside. There's like nine lesser video games inside of this game, and it's crazy how much stuff there is in this game. So I, during the Contra Marathon, I got the weird ending to this game, and I remember I think uh, Carolyn Pettit was on the chat with us, maybe some other folks, and I was like, "Oh, do you know about the weird ending?" And people still don't know about the hidden ending to this game, which I think it's Simon true. Belmont. Yeah, Big Head Simon Beaumont. I think the Capitals just won because my wife just started screaming. <laughs> is that what that was? Now the dogs are, yeah, now the dogs are nuts. Yeah, she was watching the Caps Blues game, so. Forget the dodge roll. Yeah, I was yeah, the dodge roll. It's, it's, like, it's like the Cuphead smoke bomb. Like, that, it's, it's... It's Dead Eye Joe. You're invincible. Oh, no. Okay. I'm getting away. Oh, no, what do I do? Um... Do I go help the scientist, or do I go after Dead Eye Joe? Or going after Dead Eye Joe is well, if you're just gonna quit out, I guess. I'm just gonna quit I out. Say, going after Dead Eye Joe is fun because you get to do this thing where you run down a road in like sort of third. Person. Which one's the language one? The first second one? one. Second, second one. one. No, second one. Second then one. I'm pretty sure you want the top. Um, the... Actually, nope. I have no idea what language you want. It's the second I one now. It's the second one. There's a reset no, to factory settings, one? anyways, so. Yeah, you say if you if you mess it up and you wound up in like an, a European language, I could probably help you decipher it. <laughs> if it's Spanish, yeah, if I could probably handle French, it. French, Mike's got your back. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys? Anything else? How about? Uh, yeah, little... I, I played a bit of Shinobi Three and thought it was uh, okay. I like did I do three? Shinobi Three? I did Shadow Shinobi Dancer. Two. I did. No, you've done all, you've I've done, done all of them. All. Okay. You've done all three of them. I think uh, I did that one recently, actually. Yeah, I was uh -oh. say you did that's it good. Pretty, pretty, that's all right. Pretty. I don't know. I don't. I I still love the. I don't love, love the double jump in any of those. I like Shadow Dancer the most of the three. The timing on the double jump is really wacky. And... I didn't know there was a double jump. So. Uh, you gotta. So you'll in, have in to. Revenge of Shinobi. You need to master. Well, yeah. Revenge of Shinobi is not. It's not in this version, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. But in that game, you need to master the double jump when you can't make it past stage two. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you have to... It, it's not like most games where you just jump and then jump again whenever you feel like it. The, the Shinobi double jump only works at the peak. You have to... You, you, there's a there's a brief window of a few frames, but you got to be down on the spot with no more time. Otherwise it you have to be a chemical toilet? <laughs> I assume that's a brand the name. I know. I picked Fix Shot on accident. Canadian. So. Yeah, my bad. Has its you also picked Laser by accident, I'm assuming. Yeah, I just I didn't know how to go back. Let's yeah. see if you grab that chaser. The chaser paired with the laser is Pretty good. broken. Yeah. Good but, times. But with Fixed Shot, it's less broken because you can't just keep running. While oh, I forgot that I can go diagonal. Yeah. I thought that it always was like up, down, left, right movements. Nope. You know what? This is a great fucking game. It's a great game, for sure. This I is, agree with you that this may be the best Genesis game. This is the best game on the platform, I think. This game rules. And, uh... I was really... I had a lot of fun... Uh, this was my first Patreon request for Same Name, Different Game was this game. And I was really... I had a lot of fun doing that because I really just <laughs> talked about how awesome Gunstar Heroes was. For papaya like, Dance. Yeah. Papaya Dance. Watch out for the Papaya Dance. <laughs> you, uh, you turned off your combined weapon, by the way. Oh, I did? No. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I don't really need it for this dude anyways. Then you just did it again. You turned it off. And it's because of the giant buttons, man. You can't, you can't not press them. Oh, man. Look at that thing wobble back and forth. Yeah. yeah I mean, so the time that I played this game in completion was when it was released on PSN for the PlayStation 3. Oh, sure. I have, I have a million copies of this game. I have I an actual Genesis like, cart. 
First yeah, time I have I... an actual Genesis card. I have it on 3DS. I have it on PS3. I have it on PC. The first time I ever played it was the Wii uh, port. Oh, I think I have it on Wii as well. Yeah, yeah. the Virtual Console thing. Virtual console version, yeah. Yep. And I actually played Gunstar Superheroes first. That's the best. That's the better way to do it because then you don't realize how inferior Gunstar Superheroes is. <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't know that there was a much better game at the time. But I didn't love it. I played like a bit, and I was like, "Ah, oh, this is fine." And then I played the real thing, and it was much. Happier. I mean, it is. It's fine. It's just fine. Gunstar Superheroes is not Treasure's best. Well, you know, I love Treasure, but I don't know that they're the most consistent studio in the world. They got a bit of a Platinum Games thing going on, where they're either top of the class or else kind of. Meh. Yeah, I think. My thoughts and feelings on Treasure is that I really like this game a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that there's any other treasure games that I really have much of affection for. Astro Boy, like Mega Factor. All right, Astro, Astro Boy is pretty Factor. cool. Mischief, uh, this Mischief like Makers is them, right? Mischief Makers is them. Shake that's Shake. not a that's not a great game, but I do like the Shake Shake. It's also like the only 2D side-scrolling action game on the Nintendo 64. Yeah, and it's like it has a look that I appreciate, but it's also extremely ugly. I think, Ikar yeah. I think Ikaruga is kind of a work of art. Ikaruga. I love Ikaruga, uh, and I like Radiant no Silver thanks. Moon, and I like Guardian Heroes. Yeah, those are all, um, you know, well, two of those are all... I was say, I mean, not for me, is baby. Okay, but, uh, weird. Ooh, man, they're all kind of weird. Uh, Astro Boy, like you said, I like quite a bit. Uh, Astro Boy is great, Astro and remains Astro Boy is really one of unique. my favorite games on the GBA. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. It's, it's, it's one of the most unique action games yeah. and having cool. come to that late i can say that it's you can play at any time and it's still cool yeah yeah i love the time travel stuff where you revisit stages like yeah the time. mystery adventure game yeah. built into this weird so, 2d game that alternates between you know beat em up boss battles and flying stages right. and exploration stages oh man this is such a good game and it's also like a big bizarre love letter to Osamu Tezuka mm -hmm. like, that it includes a lot of characters who otherwise didn't normally cross paths like in his comics, but they, they do because that's what they want the game to be. Was, and also way better than its console counterpart, right? It got, there was a PS2 Astro Boy game that came out. Like, oh, that was 3D, right? That was... Uh... Yeah. This or... But yeah, I don't know. I think Treasure is... I'm, I'm struggling now to think of the last thing they did that I really liked. I can't even really think of much they've done recently at all, I guess, really. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Lots of ports of their games. Lots of re-releases. -re but... I didn't time. think much of Stretch Panic, although I do own a copy. Um... Hmm... We should play a little Wily Wars before we. Oh, <laughs> He's already done yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I did. Although, remember, it this... was all fucked up because it was the European yeah, version. Was it was really European slow. European I'm really curious to yeah, see if yeah. this runs slow like that or if it feels no, a little bit more should, like. No, 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 I think it should this run smoother. I've played, the, I've played the Japanese version on my EverDrive and it runs a lot smoother. Actually, I say that with a lot of confidence, but I don't actually know because I didn't make it into a game. I, I got to the menu, wanted to show it to my, to my son, but he thought it was weird. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. It is weird. I'm kind of surprised he didn't want you to, to check it out, though. He saw it, and I think he kind of... His uncanny valley sense kind of went off. Didn't he like Mega Man 11, though? That's a pretty good No, but it's not, like, it's not like a remake of an existing game, right? That's all new. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to start with Air Man. Yeah, that's what you start with. So, no, man, so you're the best weapon right away. Yeah. I mean, I feel like as the reigning Mega Man champion of On the Stick, I should be able to tell you that you start with Air Man. Yeah, you start with Air Man. You say that. Doesn't make it so. Look, Joe, you don't just, you don't go right to intercourse. You don't go, like, right to dessert. <laughs> you build up to that shit. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you want to have a quickie, or sometimes you just want to eat something sweet. So, like... I mean, you can do that if you want. That's fine. Yeah, That's good. I'm glad I can do that if I want. Sometimes I want that doesn't mean it's the right way to do it. And I, I want to have metal blade. These fucking the kids game. these days, Mike. They just want every. They want fucking metal blade right off the bat. It's all Instagram's fault. Yeah. It's damn millennials. <laughs> Jesus. I don't appreciate yeah, things gonna, like I'm we did back put out in the there day. That you're uh, three months older than me. 
Yeah, you're millennial, and I'm not probably. Or no, I don't know. I don't know how it was originally. It was like millennials were like several years two. younger than me, and then now yeah. all of a sudden millennials are like anyone below forty. And it's like fucking whatever. Millennial, millennials eventually just became you damn kids to a certain segment of the population. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So I don't really know. I mean, generational. Yeah. I've never felt I never felt like I was belonged in any particular. I always felt like I was in between. Yeah. Generations. Same. I don't know about you, I, Joe, but. Same. Yeah. Well, I remember the world before the internet existed. Right. So. Yeah. Exactly. Like we had like fucking wall phones and cable, yeah. you know, CCTV pay per views and stuff episode, like that. We talked on an episode of What a Maneuver about the trials and tribulations of trying to get pornography as a 90s kid right and you had i think you were talking about taping cinemax free 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 cinemax weekends in the living room when nobody else was away like creeping into the living room recording free cinemax weekends on the vhs tapes and like that is Hell not yeah. a thing that once you if you once the high speed internet was millennials free, didn't have to do that shit all right right yeah exactly exactly millennials didn't have to like look for their dad's porn <laughs> <laughs> right. Hope that your dad had some. For some reason, they they traced the line right around 1980 or so. So depending on who you ask, I'm actually could be considered a millennial, although I don't believe that. Right. I mean, I, generationally, Mike, whatever we are, like you and I are, and, and Eric, we're all the same thing, right? Like you're not. Yeah, we are. We all than us to be have like it's not like Kurt who is. 16 years older than me. <laughs> it's not like Kurt, who is the old man who's shaking his fist at the cloud. Right. Kurt, who is it? This, in this case, this is the digital cloud because. Yeah. Let me check out Shining Force. I don't know if I ever really messed around with the original Shining Force all that maybe, much. Maybe you actually also love Shining Force 1. You know? Maybe. I don't think so, though. It's not Shining Force 2. That's for sure. we call you eric uh how about bob okay. Fine. how about it's bod like oh. <laughs> <laughs> evil spreads further across rune with every passing day every day the rune faust invasion evil spreading further. come on kid wake up i didn't hit you that hard Some tough love there. So, were you just not feeling like Mega Man Two? Did it, did it, did it... it feels wrong, man. It's just not. It's not fucking. I played a lot of Mega Man Two over the years, and that's not Mega Man Two. It still feels wrong. It feels wrong, but it doesn't feel as weird or like sluggish as the pal it does like, but it um, still feels wrong talk search magic okay i think part of the reason i don't like this game as much as two is that there's this is like some of those based. menus yeah like i don't really like that menu stuff pretty cute character portraits yeah yeah the, like shining force 2 has all that kind of stuff but just looks a little better this yeah, should be Shining well, Force 2. I don't know why this is Shining Force 1 and not Shining Force 2. I don't... Well, so I was going to say, I have, I've the amazingly have not heard any talk about people hacking this thing yet, but I assume it's going to be... It's happening. I was looking... Well, yeah, um, I, I heard that it was kind of happening, but the thing is that M2... So, if you haven't watched the My Life in Gaming documentary about M2, I have not. definitely do that. Um, but... They talked in that about how when M2 does something like this or the Sega Ages collections or whatever, um, they actually like make each emulator bespoke per by game. Yeah. So they 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 make adjustments. So you can't just necessarily like dump any ROM into an M2 emulator and be like, okay. it's going to be perfect now because like but they okay, but there's a good chance you could dump Fantasy yeah. Star two or. or... Well, so and it would probably work as well as what I saw is people were talking about like running 
like retro arch cores on the hardware and then just emulating uh, stuff that way instead of using the emulators that are on the thing so right. i mean at that I, point i never got into that with the nintendo right. ones either but at that point why not just use your right or use it right or buy a raspberry pi or something yeah. i will say at this point i'm starting to have a nice little collection of tiny boxes that i can hook up to my tv to play games and they're all use the same video and power connections so yeah. i just have one set of those cables that i can just swap them between so it's actually kind of cool I mean, at some point, Mike, I feel like... I mean, I don't know How do you... about Raspberry Pi setups because I've never done it, but, like, if that's what you're going after, you... Because you, you hacked your Super Nintendo Mini, right? Mm -hmm. Mike, your, and, the, and the Nintendo one. Yeah, I mean... What, so, just, what do you think about, Raspberry like, the Pi. hardware of those all, Mike? What do you... What do you, you, have, you say the hardware? I mean, the actual little box. What do you think? They're, they're cute, and I like the controller. Okay. I mean, so I actually do quite frequently travel with these things. Like, I'll just grab one and toss it into a, a Tupperware container and bring it in my backpack when I'm going places. Yeah. So I, I like being able to do that. I mean, could I do it with a Raspberry Pi? Probably, but it would probably not have such nice controllers. It wouldn't have the nice interface. I appreciate those things, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, this, this mean, has got a very pleasing interface. It does. The, the, I agree. The, I like the, the, really, like, the menu music is really good. It's a... Uh... Mm -hmm. You look a hero. Yeah. I mean, RetroPie is set up to have, like, a pretty attractive UI as far as I understand. Every one of those that I've seen always struck me as kind of the cheesy, kind of off-brand. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I guess. Um, you can be a shitty iPhone guy and say that they all strike me as the Android equivalent. Like, they don't have the same level of, uh, of polish and attention paid to the user experience. But then even Nintendo... But then they cost a quarter of what the iPhone stuff does, so... Sure, but in this case, you know, I've got these doohickeys already, and right. I like them. But I was going to say, even Nintendo can screw it up, because when they take their own Nintendo and Super Nintendo games and put them on the Switch, they have this total garbage interface that's nowhere near as good as what you get with the, uh, the minis. They've up a little bit, though. Thankfully. Have they? You can, get, you can get rid of the button prompts now. Okay. Can you Finally. change the button to not suck when you're playing Nintendo games? Uh, I don't think you can do that yet, which is just... Baffling. And it's just this like huge mishmash, hodgepodge collage of differently sized NES box arts, just kind of oh, it's so ugly. Yeah, it's not and then, good. like the interface is so simple and attractive and fun to use when you're playing on the NES Mini or the Super Nintendo Mini. Yeah. Anyway, I like that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, if I go with anything, if hey, I look, ever the pic upgrade picture my setup, changed. I'm, yeah, it's like when I played Tetris on the PC. It's a. Uh, it's kind of tragic that like SNK and Sony both like screwed the pooch so badly on their. Well, you know they can always make another one. Yeah, I mean SNK is making another one. It's an arcade stick. Yeah, it's, but it's not. It's got only fighting games on it. Oh, it's so, an arcade stick. Yeah. Well, I mean every it's, other Neo Geo game you play. Yeah, on the I actually, I, I actually agree with you. Uh, if I was to go like a different route, I think I would maybe follow in Joe's footsteps and eventually get a Mister just to get like really good emulation. Speaking for... of Neo Geo, would, um, uh, what's his name? Not Sonic Fox. That's a that's a that's a fighting game. Okay. Furtech. Uh, Furtech released has now fully released his uh, Neo Geo core for Mister, and apparently I haven't had a chance to check it out yet, but it is. Very impressive, from what I understand. But honestly, aside from the Super Nintendo, the only other retro console that I actually want that level of accuracy with, uh, to, enough to do anything about it, is the Nintendo. Yeah. And if I can get them all easily in one thing through a, uh, you know, D10, then maybe that's what I'll eventually do. But yeah. I might also just see what the they're supposed to release a new version of the. NES from analog, and depending on how expensive it is, maybe I'd be interested yeah, in getting one of those. Saying, you know, yeah. um, I'm very heavily invested in getting my NES modded, so I'm not going to fight on that unless it is a multi system thing like the first one could be if you hacked it or whichever. How much does an NES, like, good video mod cost? Uh, it wasn't cheap. Um, so, so about the same price. Well, actually, as sorry. Analog, uh, when you say a good sprinting. video mod, do you, are you including the RGB mod? Because that's a lot cheaper than. Well, something that would work with, like, say, my TV, which 
I mean, probably HDMI. I mean, it could have come down because I got mine done a number of years ago, but um, let's see. Game Tech carries them. I think they're the only official. Uh, yeah, so Game Tech has them for $145 plus then unless you're very well versed in soldering, which I don't think you are, no offense. Um, not done a lot of soldering, no. Uh, then you'd have to pay someone to put it in. So I think Voltar charged me like 60 something, 60 ish to put it in. So it was like, I was like all in for, for about 200. Plus the system. Which is not that far off from the price of a Super NT. And it was cheap. It, it was cheaper than the than the NT Mini. When but I those things were hyper that. expensive. They were because they were made of airplane aircraft grade aluminum or whatever the fuck ever. So yeah, it was cheaper for me to get my mod done at the time. But given that now they've reduced the cost of a lot of their stuff, still pretty um, pricey. I just want to say, getting one of those things shipped over from England in Canadian dollars that was like. It was like a three hundred and fifty dollar Super Nintendo. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you'd have to pay for the. So I bought an A an AV Famicom, which was about fifty bucks or sixty bucks, which wasn't too bad. And then I paid for the mod, so I was all all in, all in about you know, two hundred and fifty to two hundred and seventy dollars, let's say. To, yeah. to, I, I don't to expect I would ideas. ever actually modify the Nintendo that I have. It's just too bad because I find that the, gra the the video quality is pretty shitty coming out of it. Um, it's it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> like noticeably bad. Like whereas my Super Nintendo, just going through basic uh, was it composite video looks okay. This thing looks kind of crappy, like swimmy diagonal lines on the screen. Like yeah, and also there's a if you're putting that into if you're plugging that directly into a flat panel, you're getting a million frames a I'm not doing yeah. that, Joe. Jesus Christ. I didn't know you still had a CRT sitting around, Mike. Jesus. Yeah, I had two until recently. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I offered you one. You yeah, if I, could, if I could come up to Montreal and get it. It's only like a 15-hour drive, right? I'm not sure. Probably. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. No, no. I, my Super Nintendo now goes S-Video into the TV that I'm using, which is actually pretty nice. The biggest upgrade that you can get generally speaking is from composite to s video is going to be the single biggest improvement you're going to see in video signal i've heard that <clears throat> yeah it looks quite nice like i went from using using s video on the n64 which i should be getting my n64 back this week apparently with the rgb mod that's a pretty cheap rgb mod is that that's the thing, thing mike are those games you want to see in more clarity um the, Not really. Honestly, My experiences with the N64 emulators tell me that it doesn't really. I mean, they look don't... a lot better in the emulator though, because you can because and part of the reason I got the mod. So first of all, it's not a very expensive mod. I mean, the board was even upres. They still look like dollars. those games look bad no matter what you do to them. <laughs> I mean, they look really. With the, the, so the mod lets you. It has a switch where you can turn off the hardware-based anti-aliasing. So the smeariness goes away. Really. Which is, the thing that mm -hmm. I really wanted out of this, because I didn't that know what that made was the possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the board was like, I mean, I'm like a hundred dollars all in for the board and the and paying someone. To that seems like a lot money. of money for any Nintendo 64 related anything. Uh, I mean, there's a handful of games that I really like on the N64 that are not on other platforms um and also my preferred version of resident evil 2 is uh on the n64 so. well, that's because a lot of the wrestling games never got re-released right right because i picked up almost every n64 game i would ever play again for my wii on the eShop when i sold my n64 i'm gonna go Just on a limb like three of them. and say i don't think there's any nintendo 64 games that i really need to play again i think i'm okay no he's real good no mercy. yeah i mean no mercy's real good and there's not i guess that like that's the but even like it's like Mario 64, I guess, is the one. Mario 64 is good. Beetle Adventure Racing is super fun. Uh, there's a lot of good racing. The there's a lot the of good racing games out there. If you're in the mood for a game like that, Ogre Battle um, 64 oh, yeah. is, is really is good. Is that the person of Lordly Caliber? It is the person of Lordly Caliber. Yeah, I guess there's yeah, not a lot is... of other options for Ogre Battle games. But I don't know if I ever will be in the mood for that game again, because it's like 70 hours long and like the fight each individual level can be like a three hour commitment sometimes yeah 
Hybrid Heaven, the wrestling RPG. Is no, a, thank you. Or... That was that game wasn't good in 1999. Like this. <laughs> Star Fox 64 is, is Star actually Fox a fun game. Is a lot, that's well, been remade, but. Yeah. Oh man. Playing Star it's Fox 1 it's rough Star out Fox there. 64. Nintendo 64 is a tough. That's a tough. I agree. It's a real place. It's like to the be. only reason the PlayStation managed to do better, I think, is because it was so much, so many more people developing for it. Well, the, uh, the cost of games was a huge factor, right? I mean, PlayStation games cost like half of what it's right, and that, and and there were like four times as many of them. So I think right. you just get... the size of the library. Was... Well, also the storage, like you know, the best looking PlayStation One games are either two D or else they have pre rendered backgrounds because they had tons of space on a CD. So, yeah, the N64 did technically better 3D, I guess, but that doesn't count for much in this day and age. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's I think there is enough there are enough games of value on the N64 for me personally, but I already had the N64. I had a bunch of games like Let's be real. You're probably not going to play that much of that stuff. You just want the whole collection of upgraded classic consoles well yeah i mean i like which is fine i mean that's I i'm like not saying that's a bad thing good but... quality video yeah you know uh, from especially because nintendo 64 emulation is still really weird and just doesn't yeah for a funny. system that I old I using it 20 years ago yeah but it still's yeah. like fucked up sometimes or kind of hard to get stuff to run right or yeah. like i don't of of all of the consoles, even up to like PlayStation Two and Dreamcast, like I that was the one that I had the hardest time getting stuff to run consistently. Yeah, and when you with, try to add mods, like I doing like that, we that we Rosie and Wii mod. U emulation is better than more consistent in some cases than Nintendo sixty four stuff. It's really weird. The uh, the the No Mercy mod, which is like the big reason you would the, for me to emulate N sixty four. You know that was such a ridiculous lift to make that work correctly. It took so long to get that working. Um, yeah, the N64 emulation oh. is just very weird. Well, but, I made my decision and I got rid of my N64. The only console that I've sold in the last I still have five mine, years, but I'll probably never play it again. But part of that was that the controllers just die as time goes by, and I didn't <laughs> feel like replacing them. Yeah, I do. There's some good. There's some good alternatives out there now, though. Uh, like not playing games. Nintendo 64 games. Yeah, uh, I think I'm also going to take the alternative of not being on the stream anymore. I'm oh come on! Can you see yeah, some more Fantasy Star? I like Fantasy Star Four a lot. It's good. Is this four? Yeah, this is four. Four is the only one on here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. It's good. This is. Have to get up at it took me a long time. The first time I played this, it took a long time to get used to the graphic style, yeah. because so many of the classic RPGs um, on the Nintendo consoles have super deformed sprites and stuff and these are proportional it's not enough fog oh man like that is some good high, <laughs> high, high brow sci-fi but this this game, game is really good um, I should give it a try someday maybe I can get into it looks good and that guy does his little double slash hmm? oh it's yeah for sure my go to yeah. example when people talk about games are too expensive now I'm just like hey <laughs> this is 95 dollars <laughs> Star 4 was a hundred dollars when it came out yeah but at least it was long unlike Strider yeah really That's leaving true. bye bye Mike okay bye Mike I think we're probably gonna shut it down here pretty pretty shortly either way um yeah yeah, I don't know. I, like I said, I captured some footage of this for that Genesis Draft video, and I, I had a bit of fun with it. I don't know that I want to spend, like, 50 hours playing it to get through the whole thing or whatever, but... No, I had, but I don't know. I like I played it, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago, probably, and I thought it was still pretty good at that time. Maybe I do want to play this again. I don't know. So would you say that the Genesis Mini Genesis or Genesis? Yeah, I like it. I I mean, it's a it's a weird collection. Um, it's one of those things where it's like maybe if they'd gone with just a more limited library of like twenty or twenty five or thirty games, maybe you uh, try a little bit harder to make sure everything on here is of a certain quality level. There's 42. Yeah, there's a, like I don't know, like, like Altered Beasts 
and Alex Kidd are bad games, but they make a certain kind of sense. But I'm not entirely sure why it, like Eternal Champions is on here. <laughs> you know, like that's it a was weird a pick. Killer, man. It was Sega Street Fighter Killer. That seems like a weird pick to me. I don't know. Um, I don't know if we needed two Monster World games necessarily. No, I think just Monster World 4 would have been yeah. adequate, I think, but... I don't know. Road Rash is good, you know? Road Rash 2 is maybe my favorite Road Rash, so... Yeah, like Space Harrier probably should be on here, but I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a weird... I, it like this it, more so than any of the other ones I think really gives you the feeling of what it was like the first time you downloaded an emulator and a giant library of games and then just played a bunch of random bullshit yeah <laughs> it's like it's oh yeah I remember though, Earthworm Jim like, and I remember ROMs, like you you just play each game for like five minutes yeah but you I mean you could what you just did but... yeah that's kind of what I just but I mean that like like that's like the smattering of games in here is kind of similar to that yeah, like you're only gonna play Sonic Spinball for 30 seconds. Right. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, that's okay. I'm done with that now. But you know, yeah. Gunstar Heroes is here. Sonic Two is here. Streets of Rage Two is uh, here. Uh, Thunder Force Three. Like, like honestly, three. the only thing, the only thing that I would hardcore, really, yeah, really, like... really wish was on here was Shining Force Two, which yeah. that should be on this this thing. But I think for me. I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know that there's anything that I... Alien Soldier and Musha being on other versions of this thing for different regions and not this one is kind of a bummer. Is there something that's on this one that's not on those? Uh, we got Earthworm Jim. We got Sonic and Sonic oh. 2. Oof. Um, it's like one... I think the Japanese version didn't have Sonic 2, which is... That's weird. weird. Because they said they were only going to do one of each series. Um, okay. On the jet. Then, then you leave Sonic there. off and you put Sonic Two on. You put Sonic Two on there, yeah. Let's see. Because <laughs> Sonic version... Two is just basically Sonic One, except for better in every imaginable. So the play. Japanese version is Alicia Dragoon, Assault Suits Lanos, which is Target Earth, which is like the prequel to Cybernator on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, Beyond Oasis. Bloodlines, Columns, Comic Zone, Contra Hardcore, Darius, Dyna Brothers 2. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Dynamite Heady, uh, a bunch of Sega, early Sega Net games and like a collection thing. It's called Game No, Kanzume, Otokyo, um, Ghouls and Ghosts, Golden Axe, Gunstar Heroes, Landstalker, Langrisser 2. Uh, Lord oh yeah, Monarch, that makes Mato, sense. That's Mono, a much. That's one of those RPG series that's big in Japan and that area. Yeah. Um, Wily Wars, Monster World Four, Musha, Party Quiz, Mega Q, <laughs> Fantasy Star Four, Powerball, Puyo Puyo Two, Tant R, Rent a Hero, uh, Road Rash, Shining Force. Uh, Shining Force Two is on the Asia version. Like, that's the best one then i don't care what else is on that one yeah i guess so uh, slap fight snow bros sonic oh sorry they did leave off sonic they kept sonic 2 okay yeah. all right all right space harrier that makes uh, sense to me street fighter 2 champion edition yeah. space <laughs> space harrier is one of those games that i don't know that i like that much but um, it's like the most Genesis thing I can think of in my head sometimes. So the U.S., the ones that the U.S. has that the Japanese version, oh, and the Yu Yu Hakusho, the treasure game, the Yu Yu Hakusho game the treasure made is on the Japanese version. But um, we, the U.S. got, the games that North America got that Japan didn't would be uh, Wonder Boy and Monster World, Virtual Fighter 2, Vector Man, Toe Jam and Earl, um, Strider, uh, Sonic 1, Sonic Spinball. Yeah, like, come on, man. Shinobi 3. Yeah. Uh, Shinobi 3 is good. Light Crusader, Kid Chameleon. I don't know what Light Crusader is. That's a treasure RPG, I think. It's like an isometric RPG for treasure. I'm interested. Um, Turn based or action RPG? No, action RPG. Hmm. It's sort of like. Um, Hmm. It's sort of the follow-up to Landstalker, I want to say. Okay. 
I like Lance Stalker. I was people. meant to go back and play some more of that after we did the. Um, let's see, what else did the U.S. get? Uh, Eternal Champions, Echo the Dolphin, Earthworm Jim. Eternal US. Champions, man. Uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, but also the Japanese version got the sequel, Puyo Puyo 2, so that was not. Uh, Castle of Illusion is not on the Japanese version. Altered Beast is not on the Japanese version. And Alex Kidd is not on the <laughs> Japanese version. And then exclusive to the to the mainland Asia version is Alien Soldier. Um, Outrun 2019, which is not very good. Shining Force 2. Damn it. Um, Can I have Sword of Vermilion that? is exclusive to the mainland Asia version. Where am I? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there is a little bit of variance. The nice thing about the Turbo Graphics is one that's coming out is everybody's getting the same game list. Even though that includes getting the PC Engine CD version of Snatcher, which is not in English. So <laughs> that's kind of thanks a for finally re releasing Snatcher and not translating it. Hopefully, people will probably figure out how to hack it in the. Yeah. Translated version of it. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think it's 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 almost midnight your yeah, time. We'll call Twelve it. your time. So we're gonna we call can call it. it. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Well, thanks everybody for who watched and hung out and uh, this very special extended edition of Genesis or Genesis. And yeah. uh, we'll be one one or both of us will be back tomorrow with something spooky. Oh, that time of year. Could be anything. Could be anything. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Bye. Bye.